<laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Did you miss us? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> where are we, Mrs. Bonneville? We're in Melbourne. No, we're not. We're in a field in Melbourne. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Before we start, you know the script. Thank you ever so much for all the lovely feedback to date. And... Um, our latest series uh, episode, sorry, of our trip down to Austria on our BMW GSA is linked here or it is in the description if you're watching on a smart TV or any other device. We are going for our, well, I was going to say weekly exercise, we're going for our daily exercise today. So yes, we do our exercise every day. We, we do, every day, yeah. Not just daily. Yeah. <laughs> so folks, today we have come back to Melbourne. We visited here. Um, I don't know, a vlog, two vlogs back and we are really, really, really taken with this beautiful place. Now then, you may just be able to see in the background a lake. That's the objective. We're going to walk around that lake and um, I have got inappropriate footwear on. <laughs> I've got my deck shoes on. <laughs> we both have got... We've got the Wellingtons in the car, but we didn't put them on. We didn't think it was going to require mm. any Wellingtons, did we? Right, so that's the objective, to walk around that lake there, or get to that lake, and then walk around it. Mm. Um, and let me just show you my footwear. I've, I've got my foundry boots on. <sighs> we you bought Wellingtons. And these are my best shoes. The only <laughs> shoes I've got now to throw everything else out when we moved on the boat. <sighs> it's gonna get muddy. Sometimes I don't video in the right angle, portrait mode, whatever. <gasps> Mrs. Bonneville does her nut when she's doing the editing. Upside down, and then not only do I have to edit and cut and put music and everything on, I have to then rotate it. That's what I did for three years when we had a motorbike channel. Isn't it, Mrs. B? What? Record upside down? Like no. Sort out all your gaffes. Record upside down like an idiot. Oh, somebody said to me the other day in the comments, stop saying goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> no. Again. <laughs> yeah, Listen. again. The nicest possible way. This is us. This is our style. This is very... And he can't, he can't help it. I Everybody, can't help it. Everybody's got sort of like... Everyone's a got foible. a little... But mine's foible. goodbye and waving my hands around and wide foible. feet. Is it foible? A little bit of trivia for you. What? We are walking alongside... Um, a crop of some description. Serious question, um, what are we walking past? Let me just show you. Answers below, please. Massive field of whatever it is. She's got her jeans on today that she repaired. She had a hole in the bottom. Isn't that right, Mrs. B? Not in the bottom of the jeans, but actually, there somewhere. <laughs> so many comments. Here we are. Here we are. This is where we are, folks. Melbourne Estate. Quick shout out for Mrs. Bonneville's social media on Instagram and Twitter. Oh. Um, in terms of um, maybe go give her a bit of a follow. Yeah, because um, I'm putting some really interesting things on. I don't know about if they're interesting or not, but you could certainly go and give her a follow. I've just put a lovely picture of Mr. B on. Well, that won't be interesting then. Anyway, Mrs. Bonneville's on social media. Got my best shoes on. Walking on much, we thought we'd be walking on a footpath, so never mind, it's not gonna kill us, is it? Well, th these are my best shoes. I go to the pub in these when the pubs are open and everything. <laughs> really? Right, come on, wish me luck. Oh, look at it down there. Let me zoom in. Look at that. Oh, god, this is so funny because we've got our lovely Wellingtons in the boot of the car. And we both said, oh, we won't need our Wellingtons. It'll be fine. There's nothing muddy. And this field now is really, really bad. And poor old Mr. B. <laughs> you see, I don't mind getting dirty and muddy. But Mr. B being Mr. B, 
he does. He really does mind. He'll be cleaning his shoes for two hours when we get back in. That's because I take more pride in my appearance. Yep. Than Mrs. Bonneville. That is actually correct. <laughs> That did not go well. Sense my tone. Not happy. Really not happy. I've got Wellingtons in the boot of the car. We always do that, YouTubers. We go off road and go, Ooh. but I'm not doing it again. Fed up of getting filthy dirty when I've got appropriate footwear. I see boots, Mrs. Von Love. And it'll be me who cleans them. Yeah, she shrugs her shoulders, but it's me who cleans anyway, them. I'm going for a leak. <laughs> yes. Then once you uh navigate the muddy field in inappropriate footwear you arrive at the start of the um the lake here in melbourne and mrs bonneville is off already to um guess what feed the ducks or whatever wildlife is um living on the lake that's sure. that they're very interested maybe they're really well fed maybe our food isn't posh enough it's posh duck food you know we've got another 15 kilogram bag coming haven't we we have what are you doing i'm putting this on instagram being arty this is bonneville being all arty listen <laughs> just listen to that <laughs> they're having a proper conversation aren't they Yes, it's a nice walk, folks, but uh, put the appropriate footwear on. Watch your foot in. Thanks for holding for me, the tree. <laughs> now you start to get a lovely view of the lake here in Melbourne. It's beautiful, it really is beautiful. This is one of a look off into the distance again. Feeding the ducks, feeding the wildlife. Eee. We do love her, don't we? She's always got a bag of duck food in her handbag. People have, people have makeup and airbrushes and things like that. I have duck pellets. <laughs> that says everything, I think. We'll probably come back here quite a lot in the summer months. Once so all the current restrictions are completely lifted, and no doubt have a nice meal and a couple of beverages. What do we say to that, Mrs. Bonneville? Oh, that sounds yum. <laughs> That's Yorkshire for yes. <laughs> you what, my love? I think I'll get more joy over there. I keep looking at my food and going, oh, there's a look, he's going off now. <laughs> Maybe they're just not hungry. Maybe they're just going. Maybe they eat at certain times of the day. Don't know. I shall keep persevering, that's what you should do. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you what, we'd moor our boat here. Yeah, we take our boat out of the marine to come here and moor. Eh? That would make us boaters nearly then, wouldn't it? Would that make us boaters if we took our boat out of the marina? <laughs> I know. I'm only joking because I know it does annoy some folk who watch this, but we've always said, we say it again, we are living on a boat because we like to live on the boat. It's a lifestyle. Whether we decide to use it is entirely up to us, <laughs> but we'd come out here and moor here if we're allowed, but we know we can't because it's a lake. I'll tell you what, about that made a noise. Mrs. Bonneville's just said, well, actually, what have you just said? I just said, imagine being a seven year old boy or girl, the first thing you would do, come here. It's climbed the full length of that. In fact, I'm going to do that when it's summertime. And I've just got my sandals on. The full length. 
get right to the very end and just sit there. Yes. Me, Tarzan. She, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> me, Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're saying about me then? <laughs> Bye. Oh dear, I can't go into detail, but Mrs. Bonneville's just disturbed two ducks, let's just say, having some closeness. <laughs> Bless. It was, it, was a, it was two males. Anyway, look, as I said, we'd happily, happily take our boat out around here. <laughs> Pretty safe for us. Antisocial boaters. <laughs> I'm not a pack animal anyway, so. Um, I think, yeah, this is just about perfect for us if we uh, ever could put a boat on here. <laughs> lovely. There's a little coffee shop as well down there. Perfect. Oh, it is lovely though. Look at it. Oh, Melbourne is now our number one in terms of favourite little villages since we've been living on the marina. Idea what they are, but they're lovely, lovely little creatures. Beautiful red beaks. They've always got like a Mohican. Lovely. Do you know it never ceases to amaze me what a lovely back garden we've got? Because it's huge our back garden. It's You've got the biggest back miles. garden in the world when you live on a boat, mm. and you don't have to maintain it. Oh, by the way, we've got nine gardeners anyway on our marina. I often say that. Lovely. That's keeping up with the Joneses, isn't it? Sounds really Posh, we're not. <laughs> now then, this concludes this segment of the vlog because you've seen what's in front of us in Melbourne on a previous vlog. So I will allow Mrs Bonneville to do her stuff with the editing, but this is the first segment of the vlog. We had a lovely little walk around the lake in Melbourne. Here we go. We'll have some uh, happy ducks. Good morning. Sorry about the wind. Just thought I'd uh, I'd let you see some of the different things that have been happening in and around our little pontoon on the marina. One of the lovely things that's happening is there's, uh, they've planted just at the top. Our boat is, is down there, so I've just walked up and just on the, uh, just where the road is, the other side of the road, uh, they've planted a lot of uh, wildflower. So I can't wait for that to actually uh, get into flower. It'll be beautiful. Let me show you. So I can show you sort of like a before and after. So this is definitely before. Well, that is going to be the filled with wildflower. It's a little bit darker now. So as you can see, the sun's just about set. Me and Mr B are just, oh, let me just see if I can get some more like that's it. Me and Mr B are out for our uh, evening walk. We walk around the marina as we've probably said before and you've seen us. So I'm just going to show you what else is happening at the marina. So just next to where the flowers are that I showed you, there's this. B, the new electric points, the cars and vehicles and stuff. Vehicles. It's ideal. You can just go and uh, charge up there. What do you think, Mr B? I think they're very good, but I also think they're um, missing a trick with motorbikes. Um, you know, you can leave a motorbike on the marina, not a problem, but there isn't dedicated parking, so that's brilliant, but do the same for motorbikes and everyone will be happy. Aren't the motorbike parking anyway around the uh, marina? There is, but it's not adequate. It's, it's fine, but it's not adequate. So that's fantastic. I think it's brilliant, um, you know, for the environment and all that stuff, but do some dedicated bike parking um, for motorbikes as well. There we go. That's Mr. B's appearance. Spinal's right. got the shake, <laughs> shaky hand. We're having a lovely dusk walk and the, the sky over there is orange, isn't it? 
pretty fun. I wouldn't say it was lovely, but we're having a walk. On the canal path. <laughs> On the canal. Tow the path. path. The tow path. This is Bonneville feeding the world as usual. Bless her. Can I come in? No. Ever? Good morning. Well, we were going to go out and have a nice long walk today. Uh, unfortunately, it's thrown down with the rain. So what we're going to do, Mr. We're going to go to the garden centre and get some plants for the well deck. Goodbye. And we'll show you what they look like later. Just weekly, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. We'll see you soon. Oh, Goodbye. Smell. <laughs> it smells a bit funny. I'm sure ducks like it. What do you like? Tiny wee little boaty shoes on. <laughs> Bye. Those <laughs> do Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes again. Am I looking at the green light on the screen? Look at the screen. I don't know. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully I've had a shave. Mrs. Bonneville doesn't need one. I've had a shave, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye.